It's not the homemaking itself that's hard. It's the lack of motivation. I know exactly the tasks to do. I set up my cleaning station. But upon deciding the floors must be swept, something curious will transpire. The strong desire to pick up my phone and scroll like wildfire. What exactly am I looking up? I'm not entirely sure. All I know is it's more attractive than the cleaning I am to endure. So please, don't share your cleaning routine. I have mine very intact. The enemy to homemaking is distraction. That is the cold hard fact. Welcome back to The Daily Connoisseur. Our spring cleaning continues in this video, and this time I'm tackling all of the difficult spots to clean in the home. The grimy, hidden, and not so hidden places that have been lacking some serious attention. As you heard in the opening poem I wrote for you, Distraction, we usually know exactly what to do as homemakers. We know what jobs need to be done. We know what to delegate. And we know the priority in which our tasks need to be finished. Some people benefit from a cleaning routine. Others are more free-spirited with their cleaning approach. Some people have other people help them clean their homes. Others do all of the work themselves. We all have different experiences. One thing I know for sure, the biggest enemy to homemaking is distraction. So as you tackle your own spring cleaning projects, I hope today's video not only accompanies you and provides you a sense of comfort, but acts as motivation rather than distraction. Sometimes we allow distraction to take over when we are faced with a job we really don't want to do. This distraction is otherwise known as procrastination. Charles Dickens wrote in David Copperfield, My advice is, never do tomorrow what you can do today. Procrastination is the thief of time. Collar him. <laughs> Did you hear that? Collar him, ladies and gentlemen. Procrastination is the thief of time. So let's tackle these grimy places in our home that require attention. No, as an introvert, I rather enjoy being alone with my own thoughts. I don't necessarily need music or an audiobook to work, although I do employ both often. But sometimes, all I need is to be alone with my thoughts and the very present sound of what I'm doing. It's the sound the natural noises that bring me into the present and remind me that I'm alive. We tend to anesthetize ourselves with the noise, but silence has its place in our lives too. 
when you're in the silence, in the thick of it, here are a few things to focus on. Gratitude for a place to live. Gratitude that you even have a home to clean. Gratitude for the ability to clean. Gratitude for the space to think, to dream. Once you build momentum, you find that you don't want to stop. At that point, an interruption or distraction is rather unwelcome. Wiping away the dust and grime is becoming therapeutic. Like I mentioned in the poem from the last video, a spring cleaning for my room. And a spring cleaning for my mind. Capitalize on this. When you are in the flow, you're actually in a rather creative state. It's like when you're writing a book. Every day, when you face the page, it's hard. And your mind invents other things you could do, like check the news or text a friend. But once you get started, when you get into that state, your headphones are on, your hands rapidly flying over the keys, as you are in creative mode, you want it to never end. And it must, but for the time being, any and all interruptions are very unwelcome. If you find this flow with your housework, consider it a very magical trip and enjoy the ride. You most likely will be interrupted. You could always invite the interrupter to help you. Or, if you manage to finish your to-do list, consider it a very successful venture. Remember, when you are finished for the day, to give yourself a little reward. A well-earned treat. The ritual of a cup of tea is transformative. And if you can capture the quiet, pour yourself a cup and settle down with a good book. And enjoy the magnificent feeling of a job well done. Thank you for joining me for today's video. Keep calm and remain classy. 
and I wish you a very happy spring cleaning. See you next time. Love, Jennifer. Thank you.